Today, getting registered to vote is especially important for returning citizens. A judge recently ruled that felons must pay all fines, restitution, and legal fees before they can vote again. News 6's Jerry Askin shows us how one organization is making it so they can cast their ballot. This is my first time, imagine, 57 years old, never voted. For people like Wayne Smith, today was crunch time to try and vote next month in the general election. It's important for me to get the right person in the chair. He's like many today who showed up and called the 24-7 hotline here at the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, or the FRRC, trying to see what fines and fees he owed. Fines and fees have been paid. And how they could help. I came the right time because it was the last day to do the paperwork that I had to do. So most likely I'm hoping that I'll be able to vote this time. So far, the FRRC told me they've paid $25 million in fines and fees for returning citizens statewide even writing a check today for $1.5 million to pay off past fines for those who qualify here in Orange County. The money from celebrities and generous people who donated. Every dollar is a person, a real person who's yearning to express themselves. You know, one time I was on this side of the field causing all the trouble, um, and now I'm on this side advocating um, and saving lives for this side of the people. So it feels good, and I encourage them, don't give up um, despite of your past. A past that Wayne Smith told me should not hinder his right to vote. And to see if you qualify or if you have any questions about your fines owed, click on this story at clickorlando.com for more information. I'm told the FRRC's 24-7 hotline will continue next month, even past the election. In Orange County, I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.